Good morning. We have docked in Bergen and we've been here for about an hour. To, well, at this point, two hours. I've been up since about 8.30 and it's about 10 after 9 now. I luckily looked at my meeting time for the excursion that I booked today, which is a scenic fjord cruising. And the meeting point's actually like a 15 minute walk from the pier. So where we are docked is not where the meeting location is. So I'm trying to rush a little bit to get out the door. I've got to go down and get some breakfast before I head out and then make my way over to the meeting point, which is by the fish market. So my side of the ship today is again, not on the dock side. So I cannot see the port area. I can see the opposite side, which is beautiful. I've got all these colorful houses nestled into the hillside and I'm excited to take a boat ride around and see some of the area. I'm not really sure why I booked a scenic fjord cruising excursion when we've done so much fjord cruising on this ship. Bergen looks beautiful. The weather is definitely more overcast and cloudy and although we are not expecting to get any rain today while we are here in port I am bringing my rain jacket just in case especially because we will be leaving the port area for this excursion. So the excursion is about three and a half hours 10 a.m. to I guess 1 30 ish. All right, I think that is my update for this morning and I will bring you with me on this excursion and we'll see what is in store for us today. Just got my laundry back right as I was about to walk out the door for this excursion. That was quick, less than 24 hours turnaround. So much for no rain, it's definitely sprinkling. Just kidding again. <laughs> the sun is out. <sighs> well, there's a cat. I booked this scenic fjord cruise through Get Your Guide. Check the description below for the link. It's a three and a half hour tour to Mastraman Fjord, among other points of interest. And as you'll see shortly, the views are unbelievable. I had no regrets about booking this excursion after seeing some of the scenery, waterfalls, and mountains that we passed through on this tour. Listen closely to hear the narrator talk about the history of the fjords, the structures and buildings we passed, as well as some interesting tidbits on trolls. The fjord is 27 kilometers long and has a maximum depth of 645 meters. The fjord here is rich in fish species, including cod, mackerel, cusk, and various small sharks that may be swimming under us right now. Sometimes even orcas, also called killer whales, stop by during the winter. Ostafjord is also rich in bird life. In the 1960s, the white-tailed eagle was on the verge of extinction and was officially made a protected species. Now, the majestic bird with a two meter wingspan is a fairly common sight here, but we're sure to keep a lookout for Norway's largest bird of prey. On our cruise through Ostafjord, we also passed several farms with no road connections. Many have been inhabited since the Viking Age, but the Black Death in the 1350s wiped out many farm families, leaving their lands deserted. White House, and the White House is located on an island and the guy who owns it has built his own walking bridge going out to the house. So you can see his park, this uh, Karles Park at the, the land side, the white Karles. Huh? They live in mountains, caves and forests and only wander around at night because they fear daylight since it turns them into stone. Trolls can be big or small, but they are always stupid. If you see mists and steep rising in the mountains on today's strip, you can be sure it is from local trolls enjoying a steep This is not real. Trolls and humans have never gotten along. If you see what looks like high-tension electrical power lines in Norway, 
They are actually electric fences that keep trolls in their own territory. With just 378 residents. About 100 of them live down by the fjord in the village of Mu, while the rest live farther up the Mudong Valley. Mudong municipality is a major producer of hydroelectric power and an exporter of sand, making this a prosperous community with a solid income shared by a few residents. wrong that was definitely way better than I expected the scenery was absolutely gorgeous the fjords were incredible so you know just because you've seen a few fjords doesn't mean you've seen them all so I will not underestimate an excursion like that again it was really great had amazing amazing views so I just got back out of the ferry and just wandering right around where the fish market area is it's about maybe 1 30 I think right at 1.30, so I have some time, but I am gonna get hungry soon, so not sure if I wanna stop here and eat. It's like there's a little pizza place. Yes, I have dinner reservations again at Los Lobos tonight, and that's gonna be a lot of food, so probably ought to eat something now. eat at that place called Olivia's but I stood there in line for 15 minutes and the line didn't move to like get sad so I went across the street to a different place and the food was really really good and got sad immediately inside with a great table that had a view out front so made I think the right choice food was awesome and the reviews were actually better for that place on Google compared to the first one so it worked out but it is 3:30 or so. So I are I believe our all aboard time is 4:30. So I am not going to be able to go ride the funicular unfortunately. So I'll just have to come back, but it is a bummer. I wanted to be able to do that this afternoon, but um, the fjord excursion was totally worth it and I'll save that for the next time. I'm gonna head back to the ship. The pizza was very big, very tasty that I ordered, but I just hope <laughs> I'm gonna be hungry for my dinner reservation. So maybe this walking will help burn some of that off. Good timing on my part because it has just started to rain again so time to get back on board maybe hit the spa relax for the rest of the afternoon got a pretty good amount of walking in this afternoon so So I'm in the observation lounge and the bridge we just went under is the same height as the ship. So we have to lower 
these smokestacks on the top to give us enough room to go underneath the bridge, which is really cool. So everyone here was um, sharing and videoing, listening for any scrapes on the top of the ship. So I'm on deck 17, which is where the observation lounge is. And I think there are like 19 or 20 decks on the ship. So I'm not even as close to the top as you can get. Anyway, so that was exciting. <laughs> so I'm already two minutes late for my dinner reservation, which is at 8 p.m. I'm sure being a couple minutes late is fine. Um, at Los Lobos, but I just wanted to make sure I caught up before I head out for dinner tonight. Just spent the last couple of hours in the observation lounge at the bar watching us sail away from Bergen. It was a beautiful sail away. It was a very crowded venue. Everyone loves the observation lounge. It's one of everyone's favorite spots on board. So I am ready for dinner. I am pretty hungry and really excited about Mexican food because it has been my favorite meal on board this far of this cruise. So tonight is night seven. Only three more nights left. I cannot believe it. I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm not ready for it to end at all. But I need to head out now and go get some food. So that is where I'm off to. And I may or may not film my dinner because I've already shown you what the meal at Los Lobos looks like and I plan to get exactly the same thing that's how good it was so if I decide to film I'll show you what I get if not check back to an earlier video in this series I will link it up here at the top because I can't remember which day it was off the top of my head so click the link above here if you want to go back and watch that video where I eat at Los Lobos I filmed everything and it was amazing so I am off and I will catch up with you later